everyone, it's Mayumi here from sambinggeek.com. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a very cute project to share to all of you and it is a tissue box holder. This is Cajun Craze and Always Artichoke. The tissue that I use here is a handy pack Kleenex tissues and you open this on the side if you want to refill this so you can recycle this over and over again. And what I did is that I measured up the width and the length of this tissue and that's how I come up with the measurement of this. So I'm just going to set this aside and we'll work on with our project. So you're going to need a piece of real red cardstock and this piece measures 8 inches by 7 and a half. So on your 8 inch on the top we're going to score this at half an inch, 1 and 3 quarters. Six and a quarter inch and seven and a half. Turn this around, making your seven and a half inch on top. We're going to score this at two and a quarter inch, three and a half, five and three quarters, and seven inches. So now I'm going to use my bone folder to fold the crease. We're going to cut up all the way to the second score line and we're going to do that the same thing on the other side. So this time we're just going to cut up here and then with this small tab, we're going to take that one out, then cut this in an angle, okay? Then turn it around, cut up all the way to the second score line. Then this one here, we're going to get rid of that snip it off and then cut it in an angle. The next thing that we're going to do is to trim off this piece so we're cutting this one out. We're going to leave this alone then we're going to cut this one and then cut off this big piece here. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing, cut this small tab, leave this alone and then cut off this one, then take this one out. All right. Okay, so the next thing is that, see how we have this half an inch? score line here, we're going to cut that in an angle so that when we close our box it doesn't get into this side here, okay? So I'm just going to clean up my surface. Then we're going to attach this pattern paper. This piece measures four and a quarter inch by two inches. I'm using my snail adhesive to attach this. And I would suggest that since we're adding a hole in the center, we're just going to add the snail on the sides. Then place this one just like so, leaving an equal border on all sides. So I have a template right here. This is just a normal photocopy paper. And when we close this box, it sits down with this um, small tab. So what we're going to do is let's pretend that it's going to be like this and we're going to attach this piece so that we know that we're not cutting off anything from this side, okay? So let's just going to look for the center marking around here. Then grab your decorative label punch. And cut it out. 
And then after that, we're going to use our snail adhesive. And then this one here as well to the tabs. And this one and this one. We're not going to add anything on this side because that's where we open the box to put the tissue. So close this. Just like so. And we're locking this inside. Then it closes up like this. Okay? Now to decorate the box, you're going to need some pattern paper. This piece goes at the bottom and it measures four and a quarter inch by one inches. Place this one right here. Then for the sides, it's going to be two inches by one inch. find my get will wishes sentiment so we're going to use a different one and I think I'm going to use let's see thinking of you and I'm going to ink it up with a real red ink pad I swear I was just holding it a while ago I can't find it but anyways this is whisper white and stamp this one Oh, I smudge it. I don't like it. So I'm going to turn it over. Try it one more time. That's better. Then I'm going to cut this one with a word window punch. I'm going to use the modern label punch and punch this real red cardstock. going to use my snail adhesive to attach this and use a snail adhesive again and put it right here it says thinking of you then you can start adding your tissues inside fits perfectly. Close this one just like so. So again, here's your tissue box holder. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay crafty as always. Stay safe. Don't forget to check out my website. I am going to post down all the measurements and the supplies for this project. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!